preparation of organic compounds preparation of acetanilide we require acetic anhydride glacial acetic acid aniline rb flask stand with lamp buckner funnel sand bath water condenser ice bath ice water etc in a 250 milliliters rb flask take 10 milliliters acetic anhydride and 10 milliliters glacial acetic acid shake the contents of the flask thoroughly and add 10 milliliters aniline to this Clamp the flask to a stand and fit a water condenser over its mouth. Then place it on a sand bath. Heat the mixture for 10 minutes and detach the condenser from the RB flask and allow the mixture to cool for some time. Now cool the mixture by placing the RB flask in a dish containing water. Pour the liquid from the RB flask slowly into a beaker containing 200 ml ice cold water. A white precipitate of acetanilide is formed. Take a filter paper and place it on a Buckner funnel. Filter the precipitate through the Buckner funnel. Transfer the precipitate from the filter paper into the beaker using a spatula. Wash the precipitate with distilled water in the beaker and again filter the precipitate. Using a spatula, transfer the crude acetanilide into a beaker. In another beaker, take 17 milliliters of acetic acid and 33 milliliters of distilled water. Pour this mixture into the beaker containing precipitate of acetanilide. Heat the contents of the beaker to dissolve the substance. Filter the hot solution into a conical flask. And cool the filtrate in ice. On cooling, white shining crystals of acetanilide separate out. Place a filter paper in the Buckner funnel and filter the crystals. Take the crystals from the funnel using a spatula. Transfer it into a filter paper and dry the crystals by pressing them between filter papers. Transfer the crystals into a watch glass and label it as acetanilide. Preparation of Dibenzal Acetone In a conical flask, take 2.5 ml benzaldehyde, 1 ml acetone, and 25 ml rectified spirit. Cock the flask and shake it to obtain a clear solution. Take 5 ml of 10% sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube and using a dropper, take the solution from the test tube. Add this to the conical flask drop by drop while shaking the flask in between each drop.
place the flask in a dish containing water to maintain the temperature of the reaction mixture between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Cork the flask again and shake vigorously for about 10 minutes, releasing pressure from time to time. Allow it to stand for 20 minutes at room temperature. Then, cool the contents of the flask by placing it in a dish containing ice water for a few minutes. On cooling, yellow colored precipitate of dibenzal acetone separate out. Filter the precipitate using Buckner funnel. Using a spatula, transfer the precipitate into a test tube. To wash the precipitate, pour distilled water into the test tube and shake it well. Then filter the contents of the test tube through the Buckner funnel. Take the precipitate of dibenzal acetone using a spatula and transfer it into a test tube. Take some rectified spirit in a beaker and heat it. Add a little of this to the test tube containing the precipitate. The precipitate dissolves. Then allow it to cool slowly. On cooling, pale yellow crystals of dibenzal acetone separate out. Filter the crystals using Buckner funnel. Using a spatula, transfer the crystals onto a filter paper and dry them by pressing them between filter papers. Transfer the dried crystals into a watch glass and label it as Dibenzal Acetone. Preparation of Para Nitro Acetanilide We require electronic balance, acetanilide, butter paper, spatula, glass rod, dropper, funnel, conical flask, cold water, measuring jar, test tube, fuming nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid, beaker, glacial acetic acid, filter paper, buckner funnel, wire gauze, tripod stand, Bunsen burner, freezing mixture, etc. Place a butter paper over an electronic balance and tar the balance. Weigh 5 grams of acetanilide over the balance. Use the spatula to take this. Transfer the weighed quantity of acetanilide into a conical flask. Take 5 ml of glacial acetic acid in a measuring jar and pour it into the conical flask. Stir the contents of the flask using a glass rod. Take 2 ml of fuming nitric acid in a test tube. Cool it in a freezing mixture. Take 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid in a measuring jar and using a dropper take this from the measuring jar. Carefully add this into the test tube containing fuming nitric acid while stirring constantly. Now. Take the conical flask containing mixture of acetanilide and acetic acid. Place it in a water bath. Then take 8 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid in a measuring jar. Then add it to the conical flask using a dropper. Take the remaining sulfuric acid. Add it into the conical flask. 
take the flask place it in a freezing mixture stir the contents using a glass rod and wait until the temperature becomes less than 5 degrees celsius to the cooled contents in the flask add the mixture of fuming nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid drop by drop while stirring constantly remove the flask from the freezing mixture allow it to stand for 30 minutes at room temperature pour the contents of the flask to the crushed ice taken in a beaker and stir it well A precipitate is formed. Transfer the mother liquor into a Buckner funnel. Then wash the precipitate with cold water. Again, transfer the mother liquor into a Buckner funnel. Repeat this once more and then filter off the precipitate. Take the precipitate from the funnel using a spatula and transfer it into a beaker. Take 20 ml of methylated spirit. Pour it into the beaker containing precipitate. Then stir it well using a glass rod to dissolve the precipitate. Then warm the liquid to get a clear solution. Place a beaker under the funnel and fix a filter paper in the funnel. Take the beaker containing solution. Filter the hot solution into the beaker. Cool the solution by placing the beaker in ice. On cooling, colorless crystals of para nitro acetanilide separate out. Arrange the filter paper into the funnel for filtering the solution. Take the beaker from the freezing mixture. Filter the crystals using the funnel. Colorless crystals of para nitro acetanilide separate out. Wash the crystals with cold water. Using a spatula, transfer the crystals onto a filter paper. and dry them by pressing them between filter papers transfer the dried crystals into a watch glass label the crystals as para nitro acetanilide preparation of 2 naphthol aniline dye Take 4.5 ml aniline. Ten milliliters concentrated hydrochloric acid. And twenty milliliters distilled water in a conical flask. Cool the solution to 5 degrees Celsius by placing the conical flask in a trough containing ice cold water. Take 4 grams of sodium nitrite and transfer it into a beaker. Add 20 ml of distilled water to it. Stir the contents of the beaker using a glass rod to dissolve the solid. 
cool the solution to 5 degrees Celsius by placing the beaker in an ice bath. Now, add sodium nitrite solution to the contents of the conical flask. Take 7 grams of 2 naphthol and transfer it into a beaker. Add 60 milliliters 10% sodium hydroxide solution into it. Stir the contents of the beaker using a glass rod to dissolve the solid. Cool the solution to 5 degrees Celsius by placing the beaker in an ice bath. Take the conical flask from the water. Then add the solution in the conical flask to the 2 naphthol solution while stirring constantly using a glass rod. The mixed solution immediately develops a deep red color and the 2 naphthol aniline dye rapidly separates. Allow the mixture to stand in freezing mixture for 30 minutes with occasional stirring. Transfer the upper solution into the Buckner funnel. Wash the precipitate with distilled water and repeat this. Then filter off the precipitate. Precipitate of 2 naphthol aniline dye separate out. Take the precipitate using a spatula. Transfer the precipitate into a beaker and add 40 ml of glacial acetic acid into it. Then stir the contents of the beaker using a glass rod. Warm the liquid to get a clear solution. Filter the hot solution into another beaker. Cool the solution by placing the beaker in an ice bath. As the solution cools, crystals of 2 naphthol aniline dye separate out. Filter off the crystals using Buckner funnel. Wash the crystals with ethanol. Crystals of 2 naphthol aniline dye separate out. Using a spatula, transfer the crystals into a filter paper. Dry the crystals in the filter paper by pressing it with other filter paper. Transfer the dried crystals into a watch glass and label it as 2 naphthol aniline dye.